Hey everybody, I'm Nick Griffin here and welcome back to Baba Is You. We are in the Hard Land. Uh, this is apparently the parade. So uh, we got stuck on six, we got a little bit stuck on seven. This these lead to new places. Oh no, this is an actual one made by Corey Martin. Okay, interesting. Alright, so Baba is move. Sorry, Baba is you, Kiki is move. We've got push. Kiki is defeat, wall is stop, belt is shift. Right. We've got only one is. Okay, I need to not waste as much time. Alright, so what we need to do... Is set these guys up like this. That worked out pretty well. Oh gosh, more things. Okay, so I, th I think we we still want to push forward on these. Oh, this one's called Parade. Right. Okay, this area is not called Parade. Okay. Why is this called Parade? Right, because the person on the right needs to walk all the way down as though it were a parade. So, we already... I, I'm remembering this one uh, pretty well at this point. And as far as I can tell, the way that we really need to accomplish this is by figuring out what we need to turn this bug into, and when we need to turn thing, and when we need to turn me into Kiki, and what we do to follow it up. So we can move this is, but we can't move the bug. So whatever we do with the bug, it's going to be a thing. We need to have the me's move. So the thing is, nothing is, how do I phrase this? Nothing is stop that we can generate. Wall is stop, but that's it. So I mean, we can make the belt stop, but that doesn't actually help. Um, it doesn't help because that's, we, that's not something we can generate to stop this me from moving, basically. Because that me is what's going to wreck Baba is you, and once Baba is you is wrecked, we're, we're kind of done. So, I thought about trying to like get something into these two holes in the back there, so that if we pushed everything to the left, it would be okay. Um, but there are two problems with that. The first one is, you have to rearrange Baba is you in order to get stuff behind there, which if you can rearrange Baba is you, you've solved the problem already. Um, the second one is just that, even if we could get stuff back there, we don't really have the three things to push. I mean, we could turn the bug into something. Because I mean, that's the thing. I, I've, I've thought about this. <clears throat> because the bug is push, I could do something like this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is seven away. So, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. So if it were here, make it me, and then make me Kiki. They hit at the same time, but once again, they push too far, and it doesn't quite work. So it's an interesting idea, but it doesn't have anything that we could. We could play with. Oh, excuse me. Also, because even if we get that, we're so far over here that I can't get there in time to push the is along with it. So, 
the interesting thing is the swap. The fact that we've been given the swap, but nothing is swap. I'm trying to figure out, like, the good way to do that. Because we get one chance... Here's an interesting thought. I like this idea. It fits in with like a parade and like it changing, but we have to figure out a way. Kiki's move. Me doesn't actually have a thing on it. So can we use a bug skull? Can we use a bug skull in an interesting way to make this work? Like making the bug a skull. I know we need to use the bug, I just haven't figured out yet how. I'm hoping to like get some sort of interesting thing here. Okay, I think I know what we need to do. I think the bug needs to be Kiki, just because we need it to be moving around right now. We need me to be Skull, I actually don't need me anymore. Skull is Kiki, Kiki is Skull. Okay, I can do this, but here's the problem, I can't save myself. So doing this, I can use the fact that it's swapping back and forth to live. Here's the problem. That's good, that's good. We f so we found a way to get the flag as win. Actually, does whoops.
Hmm. I need it to like push in skull, but then also push in me. I don't think I can have it do that. I wonder. Oh, crap. I feel like I'm really close here. Yeah, I can't get the me up there. Um, I'm wondering if I were to do something with the... Uh, dang it. You did not get caught there. That key key is on a different pattern. So here's the question. Can I beat this skull to the flag? I think that's really the question here. <laughs> you can't tell me that that flag is not placed exactly that far for a reason. Okay, so can I do the dance more effectively? And I don't think I can. Well, that was weird. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, so we're close, but something's off here. Or maybe it's not. I don't know, maybe we're close, but just not quite close enough. No, that won't work. Crap. I was just I was just thinking 
if we got the Kiki here, actually, wait a minute. No, I figured it out. I figured it out. I think I figured it out. No, it's facing the wrong direction. Come on. I'm so close here. If I could get the bug to face the other direction... So the problem is, like, what I want to do is I want to get the bug up here, and I want it facing this way, and you can have them alternate so that they lock each other down. Actually, wait a minute, maybe this is doable. Whoopsie, I hit Alt-Tab. I know that sounds weird, but I, I managed to do that. Right, I think I think this is doable. I think this is doable the way that I that I wanted to. Right, you have to wait there. All right. Oh shit, no, 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 no. stop it. Actually, I don't want to do it like this, just in case I need to redo it. Um, so we need to make me Kiki. And then at the right moment... We need to make Kiki is skull is Kiki, and I think it will work. This is going to be tight. I don't think we want the me over there. I don't think we want the me against the wall. Because, okay, so me is Kiki. I'm going to push that in, and I'm either going, I'm probably going to be here. One. I, I actually need to count. We've got one, two, three, four. I've got four moves. Wait, no, 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 no. Right. So the problem is I can't turn it into a skull. I can't I can't turn the me into a skull.
This isn't enough. I'm thinking... <laughs> that doesn't work. Um, maybe I have, I have slightly more moves than I think. If I change the skull into a me. Mm. So the problem is I need the I need those two to be offset. I need them one to be a skull while the other is a kiki. Maybe I needed to put that skull one further. Um, because that would buy us one more space. Maybe that's actually what I needed to do. Because if this works as intended... Oh my gosh. This was a while ago. I think I've got the right idea. Alright. So now we need to figure this shit out. So, me becomes Kiki. Oh. Yes! Hell yeah! I'm pretty happy with myself. <laughs> that that was tough. That was tough. Um, since I think seven's going to take us longer, let's take a quick look at these. I think these were Kickstarter backers. Wall is stopped. Tree is stopped. Okay. I mean, it seems... I mean, this seems pretty reasonable. But I want to do a little bit more first. Okay, these are pretty fast. But they're clever, I like them. I think that they are good exemplifications of how the game works. Oh my god. Okay, it's just us. I'm just like, okay, what else is going to go crazy? Bob is you, water is sink, rock is rock, skull is skull. Uh, wall and rock and skull is stop, so everything stops. Skull is push, rock is teleport. It's random. I was just curious what happens when there's three. I'm undoing this. Skulls teleport, rock is push, except skull is stop. All right, um, this is interesting.
So we're trapped in here. Those two things are stopped. We can make one thing push and one thing teleport. We can't push any of these things onto any of these things. Whoops. So I'm not sure what we're going to gain from this is really the problem. Let's see. So this doesn't help us. Okay, we can't push two flags onto each other. I already knew that, but I tried anyway. I'll admit, this. Th there's an interaction here that I don't understand. Uh, I'm about 90% sure that this is just me not understanding how something reacts, so I can't I can't in my head suddenly realize what's going on um, based on the rules because there's a rule in my head that doesn't exist. There's there's a concept that isn't solid there. So when something is push, it is also technically stop. Um, you either push it or you can't. We don't have a knot. Oh god, we could make the rocks, we could make the flags, no, we can't. So we cannot transform the rocks into anything, we cannot transform the skulls into anything. We really don't want to transform the flags into anything. Excuse me. Um, because we can't change them back. Unless we can get out of the walls, which seems unlikely. So, we have to find a way to get past the water, because we basically need to make them both push. So, like, what I want to do is I want to teleport this rock to be, like, one of these other skulls. So we've got two skulls, and then I can push, because we basically want to do that to the center row here. This is a really good question. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, man, the other one at least jumped out at me really fast. So this one's this one's up there in terms of difficulty. So we really only have two combinations. Sorry, three combinations. This one, the first one. Rock is teleport. Skull is push. Swapping these. Whoops. Skull is teleport, rock is push. Both of which do nothing here, which is why I'm not surprised. So then we have the other permutations of what happens when flag is various things. So flag being teleport... Oh, I know how we do this. I know how we do this. Uh, well, first off, I don't make my life more difficult. By doing this, eventually they end up together. And then we make them both push. There we go. Yeah, I totally forgot that was a thing you could do. If there had been only two flags, it wouldn't have worked, is is the reason why that's true. Um, because then they would have just swapped places. So having three flags and thus the random movement makes it a thing. We'll take a peek at four, but uh, this is probably going to be the end of the episode unless this is super fast. Baba has Kiki. Baba and Kiki argue. Well, a stop belt is shift. It could be push. Lava is hot. Baba is melt. Kiki is open. Door is shut. 
Right, Baba has Kiki, but Kiki does not have Baba. That's that's the key here. Interesting. All right, so that's basically what we have to do is we have to figure out how to get Baba has Kiki as well, which isn't possible. We can't have them both. We can we can swap them for sh for sure. But then when I do this, I just explode because Kiki is Baba, but we we as Baba don't have a Kiki. And once we step in there, because only Baba is Melt, like because we could we could we could step back out and swap it. But now we're trapped. So it's just interesting. Anyway, um, this this is going to be uh, how we do it. I'm sure we can now push the belts around, and it has to do with um, these right here, swapping things. Because if you remember, oh. Yeah, okay, I, I already know what's what's going on here. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Actually, I don't know if I can. Because the way that pushing works... Yeah, because there's going to be something interesting going on here um, with has. We basically want them to swap places. We don't have enough uh, belts to make them fully swap, though. We would need eight belts, and we've only got six. So there's going to be a solution here that involves putting has in the middle of this. And figuring something out. I don't know how. There will be some way, some way of making it so. I think. But we'll have to figure that out next time. We still figured out Parade though today, which is what I'm happy about. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time. But until then, keep your gears turning.